What's up guys, welcome to Running Reimagined. For those of you that don't know, my name is Coach Dylan Hopper, and in this video, I wanna give a few tips about dealing with the heat. I spent this last weekend in Scottsdale, Arizona, so I felt it'd be useful to share a few tips about how you can deal with the heat if you face those situations. I wanna start out by saying that when I you know, really, really was training competitive. Uh, I, I was living in Tucson, Arizona. So I lived in Tucson for about three years and I, I really was able to go through and, and deal with the trials and errors of, of living, training, and competing in a very hot climate. So my first tip is kind of obvious. It, it's to run early. It's kind of common sense. Uh, in the sense this weekend I ended up running about 6 a.m. You can run earlier. When I was training in Tucson, most of our uh, practice training times were around 5.45 a.m. So getting up as the sun's rising is going to help you tremendously. Obviously, it depends how long you're running for. Uh, because if you're going longer into the, the afternoon or the day, uh, it's going to be harder and harder towards the end of the run and you're really going to feel that. So if you're going to be able to run you know, earlier in the morning, it's going to be cooler, you're going to feel better, uh, and you're going to end up having a better run. So another tip, and this one might be you know, obvious as well, it's just to hydrate. It's so important to be able to hydrate properly, and that's not guzzling a bunch of water right before your run, because that's not really gonna help you out so much during the run, but it's making sure that you're just consistently drinking water you know, throughout your day, leading up around to that morning run, uh, so you can be able to wake up, you know, you're refreshed, you're ready to go, maybe you drink some water right before the run, uh, and then you'll be able to last throughout the entire run. So my next tip is kind of a mental tip. It's it's more around mindset and mind frame, and it's understanding that anytime you run in difficult climates, uh, one thing that can really help is really just embracing the climate, embracing the atmosphere. So if you know you're running in a hot climate, really embrace and be excited for that opportunity to run you know, in that warm weather and, and try to find the positives uh, that are that are going on in the climate this past weekend when I was running you know I was truly excited to just get out and, and feel the heat feel the warm weather uh, and then on my run and obviously this wasn't a really intense training run or interval work or anything like that but I was able to look around and really find the beauty in in Arizona and how there's so many you know different cacti blooming right now and there's so much wildlife that was moving around um, and, and just feel good about the heat I think that goes for all climates if you can be able to look and try to find the positive in the atmosphere that you're in, you're gonna have a much more positive experience by the end of the run. So my next tip is understanding the route that you're running. Uh, so before you leave the house or before you leave the park or wherever you're starting, understand where the route's going, how long you're running for, making sure that you hydrated pop properly before the run so that when you go into that distance, you know exactly, you're, you're prepared, there's going to be no surprises. Um, I think you can have troubles, especially in those climates, if you go out and then you get lost and you end up running for another you know, 20, 30, 40 minutes longer than you than you thought you were going to, uh, you know, hydration becomes a factor, food becomes a factor, uh, just the, the heat in general can become a factor. So really understanding your route before you leave the house. Finally, my last tip, and this one saved me a bunch in, in Tucson, Arizona, and it was to understand where the public restrooms are and where the drinking fountains are. Uh, when you're running in that warm climate, you know, it, it can help tremendously if you're having a tough time during the run just to be able to get a drink of water, to get your mouth kind of wet, uh, maybe to splash water on your face. Uh, it can kind of help reset and get you back in the groove of the run. Um, and then also, you know, if the wheels start to fall off or you start to kind of feel out of it, you know you have those destinations along the way where you can take a break, help get yourself to reset, and then continue along the run. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you know somebody else who would benefit from this, please share it with them. You know, it's our goal to be able to help as many runners as possible. Uh, an exciting announcement about something that, you know, I'm doing and Running Reimagine is doing is that we're taking four to five athletes and we're coaching them one-on-one -on -one for a month. And it's going to start from June 15th to July 15th. And it's going to be 
you know, real intense one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, I want to be able to really dive deep with, uh, you know, a few of the Running Reimagined followers, figure out how I can really be able to help, you know, you guys more. Um, so if you're in for that, please either put it yes in the comments below or message me on the Running Reimagined page and I'll get back to you. Have a great day, guys. Take care.